Good evening. Uh, today I'd like to share with you the status of my capstone research project, The Racism and Classism in Mexico Does Not Want to See, Mestizaje, Assimilation, and National Identity. So th this capstone project is an uh, archiv archival research project which aims to, um, to explore using both a sociological and anthropological lens how colorblind racism operates through the uh, mestizaje uh, ideology in Mexico. So simply, simply said, uh, mestizaje is, uh, could be defined as a race-blind social marker of national identity used to, um, to unify Mexican society by denying the, the existence of race. So what this project will aim to do is to explore two primary sources, um, Mexican anthropologist Manuel Gamios Forjando Patria, Forging a Nation, and Mexican writer Jose Vasconcelos, Raza Cosmica, and uh, The Cosmic Race, and how those two works have uh, influenced the the cultural and social formation of mestizaje uh, after the Mexican Revolution, and also how the definition of identity and race and belonging and um, have evolved over time within Mexico. And then lastly, this project will aim to examine the, the legacy of uh, mestizaje in the 21st century me Mexican society. So in the way by which colorblind racism operates in Mexico. So there are three uh, guiding questions that I have within this project, which are uh, number one, what are, have been the social political phenomena which have uh, given um, development to the mestizaje ideology during and after the Mexican Revolution. And then, in which manner does racism and classism uh, intersect among contemporary Mexican society? So from the post-Mexican Revolution to the 21st century. And then also in what manners are Afro-Mexican identities excluded from the broader Mexican society? So within this project, uh, I'll be utilizing a post or I am utilizing a post-colonial theory lens to qualitatively analyze um, manifestations of racism and classism in Mexican society. So I am aiming to build on already existing uh, peer-reviewed research by sampling a limited uh, number of YouTube videos, which are um, roundtable discussions that talk on the topic of racism and classism and discrimination in Mexico. And the findings that I'm having so far is um, cross-referencing um, the concrete experiences of racism and classism um, and how mestizaje has been used to perpetuate uh, the uh, discriminatory actions. And additionally, I'm also currently referencing the Ethno-Racial Discrimination Project, a project sponsored by the College of Mexico, and also the National Discrimination Survey, uh, sponsored by the, the Mexican National Institute of Statistics and Geography, or INEGI. So by examining these two works, I'm gaining a better scope, sense of what um, these surveys uh, communicate of what are uh, the manifestations of racism and classism. And so for the expectations for the research project uh, between now and April 9th is to start conceptualizing, gathering the data, and then f uh, from the primary sources, and provide an explication uh, and an, uh, an analysis of making comparisons with the with the past and the present. So, seeing how the 
post-Mexican revolution society uh, had this idea of national unity and then how in the 21st century Mexico there's this broader phenomenon of uh, racism through the denial of race. So uh, on April 9th at 2 p.m., uh, our, our class will have a, a capsule uh, roundtable discussion with the Q&A session. So I would invite you to, uh, if your schedule permits, to come to this session. Uh, and I would be happy to talk more about the findings of this research and answer uh, questions um, based on the findings. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, check in with me about the status of my capstone project, and I look forward to seeing you on April 9th. Until soon, bye.